All right, welcome back to Houston. So why don't we start planning your weekend ahead? Yeah, it's Houston Happenings time, so let's kick it off with Houston sports. As we take it into the Battle of the Tigers tomorrow at BBVA Compass Stadium, the Texas Southern Tigers take on the Jackson State Tigers at 2 p.m. It's TSU's homecoming, and tickets start at $18. For more information, visit tsuball.com. And on Saturday, Rice Stadium is going to get really loud as the Rice Owls defend their home turf against the Panthers. The game starts at 2.30 p.m. Tickets start at only 15 bucks, and you can find more info at rice.edu. And both the Aggies and Longhorns are away this weekend. It's a huge game for the sixth-ranked Aggies as they will play number one-ranked Alabama, Alabama Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa. Both teams are undefeated so far, so this is going to be a huge game tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. The Texas Longhorns will play the Kansas State Wildcats at 11 a.m. tomorrow in Manhattan, Kansas. And we can't forget the Cougars, who are having a great season. 11th-ranked Houston Cougars are also away this weekend. They'll play SMU Mustangs in Dallas, 6 p.m tomorrow evening. And then switching to concerts, Yandel is making a stop in Houston on his The Dangerous Tour. The Puerto Rican artist is performing tonight at Revention Music Center. The show starts at 7.30 p.m. and tickets start at $30. His music has this cool vibe of reggae meets hip-hop. For more information, you want to go to ReventionMusicCenter.com. All right, and Saturday, if you love Celtic music, you're going to love this. On Saturday night at the Revention Music Center, the all-male Irish group Celtic Thunder will perform its unique blend of pop and traditional Irish music. The show starts at 7.30 p.m. Tickets start at 39 bucks, and you can get all the info at ReventionMusicCenter.com. You can get your namaste on this weekend for free. And every weekend this month, Athleta stores in town, including the one right here at the gallery, are offering free yoga classes in store. You can make a donation to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Athleta will also donate $1 to the foundation for every Athleta card purchased in October. For more information, you want to visit athleta.gap.com. Also happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, you can watch one of the top air shows in the U.S. Wings Over Houston will showcase vintage World War II aircraft and in its 30-year history has also raised money for local and national charities. There will be a kids area, food and beverages, and tickets start at 60 bucks. Check out wingsoverhouston.com to enter. And take a trip to the islands this weekend. How Ooh, fantastic that nice. does that sound? At the Puerto Rican and Cuban Festival, it is Saturday noon to 10 p.m. at 401 Franklin Street in downtown Houston. This is a huge festival with over 20,000 folks attending every year. Tickets start at $15. You can enjoy live music, dancing, shopping, a fashion show, and, of course, lots of fabulous Cuban, Puerto Rican, and Dominican dishes. For more information, you want to visit prcfestival.com. And on Sunday at 6 p.m., get outside and enjoy the weather while watching yeah. the classic horror film House of Dracula at Alamo Drafthouse Vintage Park. Now, how is that for a great way to get into the Halloween it's spirit? It's spooktacular. <laughs> it is spooktacular. <laughs> the film is about Count Dracula and the Wolfman, and it is an entertaining classic. Tickets are just $9, and all the info is online at drafthouse.com. And another fun event that is happening in Houston this weekend is the Lego Kids Fest. I mean, come on, who doesn't love Seriously. building stuff with Legos, no matter what your age? Here with some really cool Lego creations, we have Dan Steiniger. All right, Dan, <laughs> let's get to building. And by the way, we should point out that Dan is one of eight master Lego builders in the world. So That's what true. do we got today? Sir? Well. This weekend at the NRG Center, it's all Lego everywhere you work. Uh, everywhere you look, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Kids are going to be playing so with Lego, building all kinds of different things. What is and this little guy here? This is a, a, a Lego Guardsman. This is traditional when you have 10 years with the company. So I have one of these. I have 23 years. And this is wow. pretty, this is large scale for someone like myself, but for you, this is small potatoes. We should point out that you did a massive Lego uh, build of the whole city of Rio de Janeiro. The city of Rio, that's right. 25 icons. We did it down during the Olympics, so it was it And was how long great. did it take you to build this thing? Uh, we started uh, about a year earlier and about six months of building, about uh, uh, 3,500 hours. Oh, my okay, goodness. Okay, so, now, Dan, um, wow. you know, Check I'm over out. here. I'm over here building. Can you give me some tips? I, I, 
I think it's a Picasso right there. Look at that. How can you improve upon perfection? It's a, it's a JB perfection? Picasso, right? Look at that. Yeah, but what are some tips? I mean, as a master builder, you what are some tips when you're building something? So, so one of the things, the big things that we can tell kids is about interlocking. How, you know, like you're building a brick wall, you don't put seam, 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 you know, overlap, overlap. So how to build a strong model. That's the first one that we give the kids. Okay. And then it's all about <laughs> imagination. And we've got that. Obviously, you've got that. Kids of all ages could probably take my job. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? They got some wicked skills. You know, when I was a kid, I used to spend days and days building Lego things. And my nieces are totally into it now. So... They're going to love this segment, I'm sure. Now, I'm event, loving it. I'm over here having a good <laughs> The event time. this weekend, I'm pretty sure they might be sold out, but if you want to try your luck, you can check out Lego Kids Fest by visiting their website at legokidsfest.com. Dan, thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, Dan, thanks for coming. Hey, and thanks, by the way, for making our logo. Oh, yeah, huh? That Looks is very, so very awesome. nice. A little and, Houston life there. Yeah. Now it is time for your weekend at the movies. Let's send it over to Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier. This week, Tom Cruise returns as Jack Reacher, the mysterious ex-military anti-hero, this time unraveling a major government conspiracy in Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. Turn around, mister. Let me see your hands. Slowly. Tom Cruise returns as ex-military anti-hero Jack Reacher, this time helping his friends Major Turner, played by Kobe Smulders, when she's accused of espionage and unraveling a government conspiracy in the process. The friendship between the two added a different element to the otherwise action-heavy movie. You know, the emotion uh, of the film and the relationship that happens in the film. So I think, you know, with the movie, you always want, you know, the trailers definitely represent the tone and the fun of the movie, but there's always, you know, I, I like it when you go to a movie and there's more. Yeah. There's more to it, and there is more to this film. I'm sorry about this. Richard? But Cruz doesn't skimp on the action in his second go-round as the tough, resourceful character who plays by his own rules. I just think he's classic cinema hero, the kind of characters that, you know, iconic characters that we, we had in cinema when I was growing up. And it's just enormously entertaining. Uh, it, it allows itself for the kind of character exploration and fun that you can have in a movie like this. You think you're above the law, but I'm not the law, so you should start running. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. Now back to you in the studio. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. Now it's time for our pet of the week. Houston Life has partnered with the Houston SPCA to help animals in need. But before we meet our pet of the week, we want to share a successful adoption story. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of the show. Yeah. Meet Paris. Paris came to the Houston SPCA on the 24-hour rescue ambulance with a large wound oh. on her front leg. The wound was so infected, so the veterinary team at the Houston SPCA performed an emergency amputation while trying to contact the owners connected to her microchip. But after a week of trying, no one was able to be reached. And after a couple of months at the shelter, Paris was adopted by Houston SPCA volunteer Jorge, who had fostered her to give her a break from the kennel. I just love stories like that, that mm. finding that forever home, just so special. Finding the good home. And now a face you probably recognize. It's Carrie McKeel from the Houston SPCA, along with our very cute <gasps> pet of the Flora. week. Flora, hi, sweetheart. Oh. Oh, what? she is such a love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, tell us she about really her. is. She's only six months old, and um, she's house trained, she's crate trained, she even knows how to sit on command, so she's got great manners, would make a great family dog, great with kids, um, so yeah. She's, she's very like, active, very friendly, and she'll yeah. grow just a little bit more, right? A little bit more. She won't get much bigger, but um, yeah, she'd make a great family pet. She is absolutely mm -hmm. adorable. Mm -hmm. You have so many cute animals, and in fact, we've talked about this uh, on the show as well, but we want <laughs> to remind people that coming up in December, you have the big eye walk, eye right? Eye walk for animals, oh, that's right, coming up in our kick, kickoff parties next Wednesday. Okay. At, at um, Carbach. It's Carbach Brewing our Company. Our Carbachtoberfest. Uh, so Carbachtoberfest, yes. right? Correct. Ah, I see what yes. you did there. A little punny. Yeah, and in fact, right. I will be there at that kickoff party. We hope you can join us again. Uh, you can find out all the info at Houston SPCA, right. SPCA dot org. And, uh, and I am so honored that I'm going to be one of the MCs right. of the actual walk, which is taking place uh, in December. That's right. So and tell us if we want to adopt Flora, how do we do that? She is so cute. She come on so down cute. to the Houston SPCA. Just all you need to do is come and meet her. 
Laura, she you just check her out on our how website. to shake as well. Oh. Give yeah, her a high five. She does have oh. a natural tendency to want to put her oh. paw up, so she could easily be trained to, to learn the shake. Yep. Good yeah. shake. So Talk about a love dog rubs. right here. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. a lot of puppies we have on the show are very spunky, and she is spunky and playful, but she's but also so calm chill. and sweet. She so wants to be a lap dog, too. That's right. Okay, so yeah. again, if you want to adopt Gary. Flora, you yeah. can visit HoustonSPCA.org. Don't go anywhere, because coming up next, it's about to get wild You don't want to miss this. It's going to be so good.